Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about some anticipated upcoming releases and pre-orders in the first few months of the year. Right now I've got a list of books that go up to early May, so I'll probably end up doing another one of these videos in the very near future. But for now, I have quite a few books to talk about that I'm excited to read when they come out, so let me jump right into it. But the first has probably already come out. It is We Shouldn't by Vikeland. To my knowledge, I've never read a Vikeland book, but she is an author of contemporary romance and she does have quite a loyal following. This is the story of a man and woman who are competing for the same job. This is an enemies to lovers romance and an office place romance. Not a completely original story, but I am excited to read some Vikeland and see if she lives up to the hype. This is a case of does an author live up to the hype, not does a particular book live up to the hype. And we'll see what I have to think about it. Next coming out one day after We Shouldn't on January 2nd is The Current. This is a book by Tim Johnston. It is a suspense novel. The book takes place in Minnesota where two girls are pulled out of an icy river. One is deceased and the other has survived. This is somehow linked to a past homicide in the same town in the same river. And the survivor of this most recent accident realizes that she has a lot of things in common or connections to the previous incident. And so she starts trying to solve the mystery of who is committing these murders or attempting to commit these murders. I do own Tim Johnston's previous book called The Descent, I believe that it is. I have not read it yet, <laughs> but it was critically acclaimed and this particular book, The Current, does sound kind of right up my thriller-loving alley. So again, this comes out Tuesday, January 22nd. You're probably seeing this after Tuesday, January 22nd. So there you go. It's available now. <laughs> Next, also coming out on January 22nd, is a book called The Woman Inside. This is by E.G. Scott. This is a domestic thriller in which a husband and wife who originally got together in an extramarital affair kind of way, uh, 20 years later are now experiencing the same sort of issues. The husband is again cheating, uh, this time on her, and his mistress is stalking them and all of that fun domestic-y thriller kind of stuff. I don't know who E.G. Scott is, so it's really difficult to tell what this book has in store for me, but we'll see. Switching gears a little bit, Sally Thorne's follow-up to The Hating Game, 99% Mine, comes out on January 29th. This is a contemporary romance. The Hating Game by Sally Thorne is another one of those contemporary romance that sort of reached a level of popularity on booktube that most romance novels do not reach. I did not read it, I'm not gonna lie. But given the hype surrounding The Hating Game, I do want to read this and see if Sally Thorne is worth the hype, similarly to my feelings about Vikeland. This is the story of a woman who has a severe crush on her brother's best friend. And her and her brother inherit this decrepit property and Luckily enough, this crush, this best friend, uh, flips houses. So he's going to do the work on this inherent, inherited property. And I'm sure that gives the two of them a chance to cozy on up to each other. So I guess this is kind of a uh, forbidden romance, considering it's a brother's best friend kind of thing. Not much more about the book is known and I don't again know what to expect because I didn't read The Hating Game. All I know is that a lot of people loved it. The next book on my list is being compared to Reconstructing Amelia by Kimberly McCrate. It is The Night Olivia Fell and this is by 
Christina McDonald. This comes out on February 5th, 2019, and it is the story of a mother who receives word that her pregnant daughter has fallen off of a bridge. And while her daughter appears to be brain dead, they are keeping her on life support in order to sustain the life of her unborn child. Now, the mother didn't know that her daughter was pregnant, and nor does she know how uh, she came to have fallen off of a bridge. So I believe the book is going to follow the mother through the discovery of all of these key components to her daughter's unknown life. I do own Reconstructing Amelia again. <laughs> Haven't read it. I was impressed with Where They Found Her by Kimberly McCrae, so I'm hoping that I do like Reconstructing Amelia. And then I hope I'll be able to see how similar and different that book is with The Night Olivia Fell. Again, that one's February 5th. Also out on the same day is probably one of the books I'm looking forward to the most. It is the follow-up to The Chalkman by C.J. Tudor. It is called The Hiding Place. I'm surprised that I'm looking forward to this so much, <laughs> but I am, I guess. I got really excited when I saw that C.J. Tudor had another book coming out, and I did like The Chalkman, but I must have really liked it, given how happy I was to see this book in the new releases. It sounds a little bit similar. It's going to, seems like it's going to examine the themes of uh, childhood friendship and what happens when very adult things happen to young children. The blurb makes it sound like he and his group of friends did something horrible to another child and then our main character's sister also disappeared. What got me um, was the tagline that his the worst day of his life wasn't the day his sister disappeared. It was the day that she came back. And I think that I was just like, okay, we're, we're reading this. So that one is definitely pre-ordered and I am really excited to crack that one open. The third book on February 5th, which is a big book day, apparently, is uh, Forget, what is it? Forget You Know Me by Jessica Strausser. This one, the blurb kind of creeped me out a little bit. It talks about two women trying to maintain a friendship that has turned long distance. And they are video chatting one day. And one friend gets up and leaves the room. And the other friend who was chatting with her sees something on the screen. Obviously, the blurb doesn't tell you what she sees, but it says that she immediately, like, takes off to go help or rescue or save or whatever this friend based on what she saw. How does that not just, like, hook you? Like, totally. I'm down for that. I'm, I'm showing up to that show. And then she gets there and the friend is like, go away. Don't get involved. Forget you know me basically. Never heard of this author, but again, how does that not just immediately captivate your attention? Skipping to the end of February, which is probably a good thing considering I'll have three books to read that come out at the beginning of February. February 26th, the book The Homecoming by Andrew Piper comes out. This is a book about a man whose father dies and he has to travel to this remote location to participate in the reading of the will. And of course his mother is there and it says his troubled sister. The conditions of the will or the conditions of any sort of inheritance are that the family has to remain together in this location for a set amount of time. Secrets start to surface and things are realized about the family that were previously unknown to the main character. This book is supposed to be um, creepy and have to do with memory and the fragility of memory and how we remember things may not be factual, that kind of thing. So it sounds interesting. I can't guarantee that I will like 
read it the second that it comes out. But it's definitely going on my TBR as a potentially worthwhile read. Oh, Josh Mallerman, Josh Mallerman. The next book I'm interested in is coming out on March 19th, and that is Inspection by Josh Mallerman. Josh Mallerman, as you may know, has gotten a lot of attention recently. He is the author of Bird Box, which Netflix recently released as a feature film. And here's the thing, regardless how I felt about the film, I'm strictly talking about the book. I was not a huge fan of Bird Box, and I thought that there were some pretty obvious things about the Bird Box that kind of, it, it kind of caused surprise in me that so many people really adore Bird Box. I mean, this is, this is a large section of BookTube will list Bird Box as their favorite horror novel ever. Like, the Bird Box is kind of Lovecraftian in its weirdness. Here's the thing. I think that, that Josh Mallerman has some merit as an author, regardless of how I felt about his previous title. <laughs> and he's also a fellow Michigander. So I'm going to read Inspection. About Inspection, actually, since I haven't even told you about the book. It is a story of a boy referred to as Jay. He goes to an all-boys school, and none of them have ever seen a girl. Likewise, across the way, a ways, is a, a similar girl's school where they have never seen a boy. And I've heard people on BookTube talking about how one gender has no idea the other gender exists, but I haven't gotten that impression from the things that I've read about inspection. It just says that they've never encountered one another. The curiosity, it sounds like curiosity will get the best of Jay and he will escape his environment. Meanwhile, curiosity will get the best of Kay and she will escape her environment and together they will try to get to the bottom of this weird cult-like institution that they're being raised in. But I think this is going to be Josh Mallerman's last chance. I only have a few more to talk to you about. The next one is called My Lovely Wife. This one is by Samantha Downing and it releases on March 26th. This is being described as a Dexter meets Mr. and Mrs. Smith. So there's a married couple who are very, it sounds like they're very much in love and very dedicated to each other. But the blurb mentions them being bored with the suburban lifestyle. And so they get away with murder or they try to get away with murder. It sounds like they kill people for fun. It is categorized as a serial thriller, a serial killer thriller. So I'm sure that's where we're, we're going with this. Which sounds fascinating. And I'm always down for a good serial killer thriller. Like it's, serial killers are one of my favorite thematic or plot elements. Little Lovely Things by Maureen Joyce Connolly is coming out on April 2nd. This sounds like a really heartbreaking story to read. Like I'm kind of apprehensive about reading this. Uh, it's the story of a woman with two small or young daughters one day you know they're all in the car and she becomes so sick she has to pull over and ends up passing out I believe in a rest area or convenience store restroom and when she comes to she goes back outside and her car and her children are gone the story then is about you know her the police being unable to help and there not really being any reliable witnesses, but her having this feeling and this mother's intuition that her children are still alive and searching for them. And this is the kind of book that I have a whole new perspective on now that I'm a mother. Kind of similar to the previous book, April 9th, uh, The Still Water Girls comes out. This is by Minka Kent. This is sort of the other way around. There's these three girls and their mother, I believe, living in a really remote location. 
and one of the girls gets very ill and so the mother takes that child out to get some health care medical assistance and the two of them never return so the 19 year old daughter is left with her sister and months later a strange man shows up looking for the mother and he seems I think he seems sort of sinister and so the 19 year old and the sister flee but they've never been anywhere else they've never ventured away from this remote homestead and lastly is I Know Who You Are by Alice Feeney this book comes out on April 23rd and this is about an actress that has a really recognizable face however uh, I th there's one person in particular that knows exactly who she is and exactly what she's done so our actress has committed some heinous act in the past and has worked really hard to cover it up so one day she comes home and finds her husband missing which really complicates her ability to hide her past she's in the public eye her husband is missing people are asking a lot of questions and she doesn't really says she doesn't know how to act so sometimes I lie by Alice Feeney is a book that I bought a long time ago shortly after starting booktube no I never read it S stop asking this would be the follow-up to that book again it's called i know who you are by alice feeney it releases april 23rd sometime before may <laughs> i will come out with another one of these that goes from whenever it comes out to the next few months um including one pre-order i've already made for the bride test by helen huang that will be featured in the next one of these that I do, even though I've already pre-ordered it. I mean, like, May is, like, super far away. So, come on. But sometime before May, I will um, take a look at the other upcoming releases, let you know which ones I think are appealing and which ones I pre-order, and tell you a little bit about them. So, if you know of a book that comes out in the first portion of this year that you think that I might like, and I did not mention it here... Please feel free to let me know what it is if you have any conflicting opinions or you happen to agree with the books that I've mentioned here today and how I think I'll feel about them go ahead and tell me that as well until next time I will see you all very soon Bye.